Hello, welcome to a quick tips video. Um, so I had this question on a Facebook group that I'm in and the guy basically wanted to, he was new to Blender and he basically just wanted to put one cube on top of another. And he didn't know how to do it because he was, as I say, he was new and the snapping options aren't massively intuitive. So I'm just going to set up the, uh, the scene with two cubes. And first thing we need to know is objects have an orange origin point. So you can see on here there's a, a little yellow dot there right in the middle of the object. And same on this one, it's just in the middle of the 3D cursor there. And when you're in object mode, which we're in now, it's that origin point that gets snapped. So if I pick that up with G and use control to temporarily enable snapping, it will snap that origin point to the vertexes of the other cube. Now the origin point of an object can be moved in relation to the geometry and you can also move the geometry in relation to the object. So what I mean by that is if I go into edit mode and I move all of the geometry away you can see the origin point stays where it is. And If I go back into object mode that origin point is still where it was. Now if I could again try to snap that to this cube the geometry has got the offset from where I moved it so I'm just going to undo that a bit uh, secondly you can move the origin point if you go up here to where it says options in the top right corner oh sorry you need to be in object mode for this and affect only origins that will give you access to move in and manipulate in the origin point of the object. So I can now grab that and because my, my snap settings are set to vertex and active you'll see that it now snaps that origin point to any vertex that I hover over. So I'm just going to right click to put that back where it was. So another way you can do this is if I go into edit mode again with my snap settings, the active part means the last active element. So you'll see if I click multiple vertexes, you'll see the first two are orange and the last one is white. And that's because the white one is the active element. So if I want you to move this whole object, I'd select all of them and then I can hold shift and click one of the vertexes that deselects it, then click it again to reselect it and that vertex is now the active object which means that is also the point at which it will use as the snapping transform so it's no longer using the origin point so if I now press G to grab and I can constrain this to the Z axis by pressing Z and then hold control to temporarily enable snapping and if I hover over the vertexes on the other cube you can see it perfectly aligns the height of that cube to the, to the big one now the origin point is still in the same place and you can you can adjust that if you want to. Um, I've got an add-on uh, installed where I can just quickly snap that to a face for example. Um, but you'll see that that is now at the perfect height to sit on top of the other cube. And If I wanted to I could press G to grab, Shift Z to exclude the Z axis and then I'm just moving it in the X and Y planes and I can position that wherever I want on top of that other box. That's if I'm say, I'm say I'm setting up a scene where I need boxes stacked for whatever reason. Okay, hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching and take care.